just so we can take in what's happening right now, I have my phone resting, filming footage of a balloon that is on our roof. We we'll currently just hit the three minute mark. That's three minutes of footage of a balloon floating on my roof. I mean, if that doesn't win the award for pretentious, I don't know what will. So July is absolutely one of my favourite months. Although many take it as a chance to relax, I often find it's when I'm at my most productive. Last year it resulted in Project Library, and this year it resulted in a musical. Now Tim and I have wanted to make a musical for years. Even when we first met back in the days of Genie and Landlord, we were already throwing around ideas. This included a speed dating musical, a buddy cop musical, a musical about the perks of being a straight white male, but it wasn't until we got our good friend Neefsi on board that the idea really started to take shape. So over the space of a few months we developed the concept and the lyrics, and then eventually we teamed up with the mad boss talent that is Tom Barnes to work on the music. Here's a picture of a cat He's so grumpy, can't you see? Don't you see why this is funny? Isn't it funny? There's iPhones, iPhones, DVDs, oh, Sherlock Holmes, Flintstones, ice cream cones, celebrity, kidney stones We're losing our minds, got the latest smartphone, get with the times In literally a month, it'll be old and then I'll need a new one or so I'm told and once all of that was complete, we started shooting. Hi there. Oh, we're doing the pretentious bullshit for Sammy. <laughs> right after our week of shooting, I went to see the London Symphony Orchestra perform Symphonic Legends. This was a collection of music from the Legend of Zelda series. It was amazing, like it was fucking amazing. The only downside was that I wasn't allowed to take any footage whilst they were playing. So here's some footage of them not playing, put to music of them playing. Also a huge thanks to Claire who bought me tickets as an early birthday present. You are both the best and the greatest human ever. Around the same time I also shot a sketch for my own channel called Coffee. Coffee is a slightly longer script that I've been working on for a while. I redrafted countless times but I'm now really happy with it. Weirdly I can't really show you too much without running into spoilers so this is just like raw footage of the shoot itself. There's still one or two cutaways to shoot, so it's gonna take a while to edit, but it'll definitely be the next sketch that goes up on my main channel. Once everything was wrapped up, I headed to my graduation, because university is a thing I did between times. I'd genuinely forgotten. Graduation was... See, I want to say fun, but it just wasn't. I basically remember it as an over-documented, hot, sticky, dehydrated mess. I've also realised that the real heroes of graduations are the university chancellors. Not only do they have to list off the names of every single graduate, they also have to get through basically a week of shaking strangers' hands. Graduation is essentially a black tie Marcus Butler meet and greet, only the average age IQ and sense of fulfilment are proportionately higher. Just to change things up, when picking up my award, I leant into my chancellor's ear and slowly whispered, how and why do I have a first? So I've now finished university, which is genuinely awesome. Uh, I did my graduation and I loved uni and I had a great time and I'm now kind of 
past that. But in a way that's kind of scary uh, because although I am doing a masters I know what next year will entail for me there are still a lot of big question marks. It's just about started to sink in that I've moved out of my student house and that already feels a little bit weird. But what's about 10 times weirder is that my parents are also moving house. Now I've lived in that house for 20 years it's the only home I've ever known and they're now moving uh, down to Devon um, and I can't really comprehend it. Um, it's so bizarre. I'm losing the only thing I've ever known as home. And I'm very excited to see the new place and I think it'll be really cool, but at the same time, it is just very strange. And the unfortunate thing is it comes at a time where my life was kind of confusing enough. I'm still not 100% sure exactly where I'm gonna be for my masters. I'm just gonna take a seat on this bench. I definitely know that I'm gonna be in London, but I'm not exactly sure which university I'm going to be at. I'm also trying to find people to live with come September, uh, which is fun and it's cool, but at the same time, it's just another uncertainty. So as things stand, I don't know where I'll be living. I don't know who I'll be living with. I don't know where I'll be studying. I don't know where my parents will live and I won't have my student house anymore. Everybody's changing and I don't feel the same. So Deeps and I have this game uh, called Happy Endings, which is when you walk past people in public and you end a story on something really horrific. For example, <clears throat> yeah, it turns out asexual and anal sex are different things. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that Jackson 5 were Mexican. It's like it works, but I'm never going to satisfy a woman. Turns out they were dwarfs, not children, and I taught them an algebra. It turns out donkeys are the perfect aphrodisiac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It turns out fuck gibbon is a sexist term. So really? Yeah. It turns out Polish people can vote. Did you hear about that? What? Yeah, it turns out semen does break an Xbox One. It's like half a sanitary, but ten times half that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so it turns out he was a Ugandan prince, and I got my money back. things are happening so I felt the need to vlog so I'm about to head to London to film Bad Burglars 3 exclusive and if the sale goes to plan this is the last time I will ever be in my parents house even the footage of me as a kid uh, is happening in the same rooms that I'm currently living in so it is really weird to uh, to leave it all goodbye old house goodbye Sammy <laughs>